Good morning, Good day morning. 11. Okay. And we've got some sun out behind us. <laughs> we've still had little showers on our tents all morning, but we've packed them up anyway. Yeah. Uh, today we're doing a 17 kilometer leg to something called Black Ridge Road Camp. Um, this whole section has been called Northland Forest. So the forest we did with all the mud was the first one and we've got um, two more forests to go. Uh, so we'll be camping in one of those and we've just got to check and see what the um, water levels are like. We'll give you an update. There's a causeway we go over and if there's water over that, it means you can't go through there. You've got to go through a bypass. But planning on a 17 kilometer today and a couple of beautiful forest coming up yeah yeah looking forward to it <laughs> all right we'll keep you updated we're going on the road now for how long about, about a kilometer on state kilometer. highway yeah then side roads yep. and then forest trail eventually great all right okay well we'll check in later <laughs> bye bye now on a bit of gravel road for five kilometers they are cute little calves hello are they bulls i think they're all little bulls Hello. Yeah. Nice day, huh? Okay, we've done about three kilometers and we're on the Omahuta Road, which will take us into the Omahuta Forest. <laughs> and this is a really quiet road, um, really quite pleasant and relatively flat. Okay, this is where we turn onto Omahuta Forest Road and we've done about six and a half kilometers. Yeah, this track is part of the Tiara, a walking trail from Cape Wienga to Bluff. Yep. That's the one we're on. Okay, out of breath. <laughs> We've been doing a steady climb for a while now. So when we get to the top, we'll tell you how high we go. Okay, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Yeah, it's still climbing and uh, you can see those mountains in the distance, but we've got no idea what they are. Hello, Judy. Hello. We could look them up, but we haven't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> too bad, too sad. This is the causeway where if the water's running over it, then you shouldn't proceed. But it's not at all. I mean, that water that's on it is just rainwater because look, that's just definitely under. Oh, that's great because that means we'll be doing some stream walking tomorrow, doesn't it? It looks nice and well under it. Yep. So we yep. do uh, we do about two and a half kilometres through the stream where yep. the stream is your track tomorrow. But we had to check here <laughs> and oh, <laughs> very close. <laughs> Hello. Um, yeah, yeah we, we've got heaps of clearance. Yeah. There is some a bit of rain coming in tomorrow, so apparently it can rise quickly. But yeah. that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Trail. Brilliant. Okay, onwards. This is coming into Black Ridge Camp. That's where we'll be going through tomorrow, um, cleaning our feet, starting tomorrow's walk. And this is our camp for the night. There's my blue tent on the right hand side. Toilet, very nice toilet on the left. And there's a shelter for cooking. We're um, set up in camp. And um, a bit of a recap on today. We did 17 kilometers. And tomorrow we're going to do 20 to Paketi camp. And we've actually paid to stay in the hut, which would be nice because it's got power and gas. And if it rains tomorrow, then 
will be inside a shelter, which will be good. Um, and it does have a shower, but it's cold. Um, mind you, we haven't had a shower for six days, so maybe we'll brave it. I don't know, because we're going to carry carry the next day. We'll see. And um, my air mattress has got a leak in it. So I have to keep blowing it up. So when I get to carry carry, I've got to work out where the hole is. So that's going to be interesting. Anyway, the joys of camping. It's been a great day. Um, not too hard, which has been good. And tomorrow we'll be walking in the stream, which will be lovely. So good night, uh, end of day 11, and we will see you tomorrow. Good morning, day 12. Good morning. <laughs> and uh, I didn't sleep particularly well because my air mattress, I had to keep blowing it up about four times last night. So when I get to Kerry Kerry, I'm going to buy a new one because I love my air mattress and I want it fixed properly. So I'll send it home and we can get it done um, at home. Um, okay, now we've got, what is it? Just over 20 today. We're heading into the <clears throat> Aimahuta forest i think that's how you say it yeah and there's a whole wash station nikki will show in a moment yeah for your feet um yep. this forest has got the cowrie tree which is one of the largest species in the world and, it, and it's dying back it's coming from soil organisms yeah fungus or something in the soil yeah. so you have to go through and wash your shoes and poles and everything yeah and they want you to get through in one day, not camp mm. at all. So yeah, so. You'll try and keep, you know, let, let you go in the forest, but minimise the impact. Yeah. But yeah, it should be lovely. We've got about two and a half kilometres of stream walking today. Yeah. Only a little bit of rain last night. Yeah. And we're staying in a hut tonight. And um, I'm really looking forward to it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I want to get a good night's sleep. <laughs> All right, let's. Um, I'll film what we're going through. Actually, you go and you can do it, and I, you can demonstrate. <laughs> I'm going to work out what I'm doing here. Yeah. That's your shoes. Yeah. What's the the purple one? Is that a spray that you use? Yeah, I think so. It might be. Well, it's probably more as much on the poles, isn't it? Well, yeah, because... And then I think this is that thing that squirts. Squirts. Yeah. Maybe put your pole in it at the same time. And then squirt. Yeah. Okay. And Good. Through. All right. Excellent. You're free to go. <laughs> Bang. Okay, we've hit the stream and the next two and a half kilometers, the track is actually in the stream and we go down that way. is so peaceful. It's lovely. Ooh. Okay, it's a little bit deeper here. It's started to rain now as well. Which is um, always delightful. <laughs> oh, not too bad. In the mud. Yep. My knees won't get up that high. I had to do it on the knees, that big tall one. Oh, nice 
this little gravel path. <laughs> We've been going just a little over two hours and uh, we're out of the stream now. So we're just gonna find a spot to have a break because we're both quite hungry. But um, it's been lovely and the, this part of the forest is pretty too and hopefully not too muddy. <laughs> Talk to you later, bye. Blair has fallen heavily on his ankle. I don't think he's gonna be able to walk out. We've got another 16 kilometers, so he's gonna have to activate his PLB or we're gonna have to try and get a message out, but we'll have to stay with him. Um, poor bugger. <sighs> he just fell hard down a slippery slope. The PLB has been activated and now it's just a waiting game. There was another couple. They're gonna go on. They know exactly where we are. When they get reception, they'll make a few phone calls, see what's happening, but we could be here for quite some time. Judy and I are gonna stay with Blair and just have to see how long it takes. This has been activated and it's flashing red, but it's also been flashing green and apparently it needs to be flashing green. But as soon as it's flashed green, it doesn't matter if it's not so we're having to try and find spots that have got... It's a bit difficult in a forest <laughs> to find clear access to the sky, but it is flashing green now. I'm not sure how they're gonna get here because they're gonna have to walk in Just leaving it there now. It flashes green every now and then. last the paramedic just was winched down but the wind all my stuff flew everywhere it was terrible Judy's taking his pack down it's really quite a heavy one they're going to take him out from the river the paramedics down there with him she's just getting him ready to you know harness for the helicopter Helicopter's coming back to get Blair, um, but they can't take his bag, so Blair's really upset. So we said we'll try and split it between us and carry it out, but it's going to be a really tough. Um, we're thinking there might be one other hiker who maybe she can take some of his stuff. He said we can dump all the food and water. But anyway, I'm going to get some of the helicopter coming down now to pick him up. They're winching him up. Apparently, this is a really ri risky exercise which is why they're not going to take the bag
one o'clock. <laughs> And um, what have we decided to do? We've had to leave Blair's pack here because we cannot carry it. It's about it's a 17 kilo, kilo pack yeah. and it's still slippery and muddy. Yeah. So we've had to work through. The chopper couldn't take it. So they said where they've rescued him from is like a really narrow section of the river. And it was dangerous enough without them taking his pack. So he's got a full pack of about 17 kilos. We could have tried to empty the food and water out but it's still too heavy yeah so we've taken the valuables and we're going to now get to P Phuketi hut as well as safely as we can it's going to take that's Hannah it's hard to see how difficult this is but it's slippery and it's steep we could not have done this with carrying his Blair's pack as well this is nice but it must be because it's just impossible to get through <laughs> but welcome reprieve Oh, and steps. There's the river. We've decided to come back down to the river because the path up there is just so sketchy. Um, so I think we're better off. It'll be faster to go this way. This track is tough. You're like you get in the river and then you go up the bank and you just got to go up, up, up. Okay, we're going to the Pukeli Recreational Area. And it says 5 hours, 12 kilometres, which means it's technical. Ooh. And uh, it's 2.30 now, so we're going to have to get a move on, otherwise it's going to get dark. Intent to throw. Mm. No. Then we've got daylight okay. savings over here. Yeah. Lots of stairs up. Whew but it's better than muddy up, so it's good. Oh, the orange. We're uh, on the top of the ridge now. We've done a lot of climbing and now we're starting to go down. It's four o'clock. We've been going since quarter to eight this morning, although we did have two and a half hours for the injury and rescue. But um, I think we've still got another, probably at least three hours. And I don't know about Judy, but I'm feeling quite tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been an eventful day. It's been an eventful day. And I think with that rescue, the adren adrenaline a bit. And so it's a bit of a kind of a, whew, takes it out of you even though it wasn't us but anyway there's no way we can go back all that way it's too difficult it really is anyway we're on the ridge and we'll keep walking and and uh we're going to check our kilometers in another half an hour and hopefully we don't have as far to go as i think or it's not going to take as long as we think we do want to kind of end the day now. <laughs> okay, I'll keep you posted. Bye for now. I'm not sure if this is one of the, what are they called Maui? Kauri tree, trees. I don't, I don't know, but anyway. Only because it's got a bit of fencing around yeah, it. Yeah, for protection. And it's a, a tall old thing. Well. I hope this path means that we're making progress and that uh, we haven't got too many hours left to go. Phuketi Recreation Area, I can't speak. Phuketi Recreation Area, two hours, 30 minutes, nine kilometers. So it must be a road walking. That's why you can go that distance. That's good. So we'll get in about eight o'clock tonight. I am shattered, but it's two and a half hours of, it's two and a half hours of easier walking, isn't it? Yeah, we've just come off the ridge and all yeah. the steep stuff, so, a bit of daylight left. So we're Yeah, all, thank we're God for daylight savings. Yeah. <laughs> all right, uh, keep you posted. <laughs> okay, it's um, quarter to eight, 
uh, we've had a 12 hour day and we're just about to get into camp and I'm very happy about that. <laughs> we're also going to check in um, if there's any news on how Blair is. One of the hikers who went ahead of us um, had contact with his partner. So we'll see yeah. if there's some news on how he is. Yeah. And we'll still have to organise what's Someone going to happen with his gear. Go and pick up his gear. Plus yeah. we've got some of his gear on us. But yeah, long day, good. Ooh, good, yes. just, it still looks we're bright hungry. out there, but it's almost dark. Yeah. We're hungry, we're going to go. <laughs> get something to eat and we don't have to put up our tent tonight so we're in the hut which will be just as well really <laughs> okay night <laughs>